Ferrari seemed to have made a step towards the front in Baku after qualifying on pole for both the sprint and the main race and finishing on the podium in both. However, they do not want to get carried away, and they have now explained why as quoted by Motorsport. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, why Ferrari do not want to bullshit themselves. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc explained why they are still not quick enough. I think we did the perfect tyre management, but we are just not quick enough. Whether we lack pace at the beginning of the stint or at the end of the stint, this we can change. But yeah, we just don't have enough performance as a whole for now. Leclerc's Ferrari seemed as quick if not quicker than the Red Bulls during the final few laps in Baku. Ferrari team principal Fred Vasseur explained why they should not get too excited by this. If you look at the last stint of the race, I'm not sure that Red Bull was not planning to do two stops. They were pushing like hell from the beginning to the end. But when we are convinced at the beginning that we'd do one stint and we'd managed a lot of that at the beginning, it meant we really had a tyre advantage at the end. He signed off by categorically stating that Red Bull are still faster. Overall, they were faster than us, and we don't have to bullshit ourselves. Fast feed. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner clarified that his drivers Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen are free to race until the team's interests come into play. If you're competing against the competitor, it becomes bigger than the driver's interests. But, as it is at the moment, they're free to race. Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso knows that he will be in the sport for a few more years. After that, teammate Lance Stroll will lead the team for the next 10 or 15 years. So I hope I can help Lance as much as I can in the next few years. Alpha Tauri team principal Franz Toss stated, No, Helmet wants to stay. He wants to stay another 80 years. There is absolutely no intention from my side to take it over. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff explained that before the cost cap, they wouldn't even know what a front suspension costs. Today, we need to take the purchase price of the aluminium, then factor in how much is actually the cost of the car. The cost cap gives chassis upgrades so many constraints. Haas driver Nico Hülkenberg is looking forward to Miami. I did the hot laps there last year, and I really liked the kind of layout and the track, good flow to it, good rhythm. I think we will be much more competitive, or back to our normal competitiveness there. Do you expect Red Bull to use team orders in 2023? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.